Forget the Gateway Project, how about a $100 billion tunnel project? Bells and Whistles is next. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with a look at the top stories we were following the week ending February 12th. Residents in the Denver, Colorado area have been getting taxed for construction of the B-Line, also called Northwest Rail, for more than 15 years. Right now, RTD's Northwest Rail ends in Westminster. However, Taxpayers were promised a line that would extend to Boulder and Longmont. RTD now says the line will not be complete until 2042, possibly later, because the funds just are not there. The cost to extend the route now sits at $1.5 billion. Colorado Governor Jared Paulus wrote a letter to RTD reminding the agency of its responsibility of fulfilling its obligations to the taxpayers of the district and is urgently requesting RTD to begin the planning necessary to complete construction by 2025. Forget the Hudson Rail Tunnel project, let's talk about a $100 billion high-speed rail tunnel that would take passengers between New York City and Boston in just one and a half hours. With the Biden administration suggesting it is all in on improving rail infrastructure in the U.S., talks are resurfacing about a 16-mile tunnel project that would connect New York and Boston. The tunnel would run under the Long Island Sound, and trains would be able to reach speeds over 200 miles per hour. Talks of this tunnel originated decades ago, and many feel President Biden's proposed $2 trillion spending plan for clean energy infrastructure could help pay for the project. Washington, D.C. Metro is looking to borrow $360 million through bond sales to put a pulse into its capital project program, including work on bridges and other infrastructure. This marks the second time in eight months Metro is looking to sell bonds to pay for infrastructure needs. The goal is to rehabilitate and modernize the rail system, and the Metro board was expected to vote on the bond selling maneuver on February 11th. The sale of bonds will be backed by annual dedicated funding Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. approved in 2018. Metro currently has a $5 billion project backlog. California's high-speed rail project has not yet hit a high gear. Delays and cost overruns have hampered the endeavor since the start, and the project's chief executive officer has announced another deadline will not be met. Brian Kelly says the 119-mile track from Bakersfield to Madeira will not be complete until 2023, and the price for the segment will rise from $12.4 billion to $13.8 billion. The project has a 2022 deadline in order to receive federal assistance, and the Biden administration is going to be asked to approve a one-year extension. The California High-Speed Rail Authority also will be asking the state to release over $4 billion in state bond funds. The authority claims it is more of a security blanket to make sure there is enough money to complete the Bakersfield to Madera section. Know a young promising engineer? The time is now to nominate them for RTNS's inaugural 10 under 40 program. The deadline to nominate is March 5th. To nominate, go to the URL you see on your screen. Well, that's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending February 12th. For the latest news, go to www.rtandes.com. You can also find us on social media. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, everyone.